Hello again. It's been a very muggy day in Melbourne. The city only got down to 19 degrees overnight before warming up to 27 this afternoon. Thunderstorms delivered some big rainfall totals to Melbourne's southeast this afternoon. 28 millimetres fell in 15 minutes at Lyndhurst. And if we take a look at the radar, you can see storms continuing in that area and also up through the eastern ranges as well as the state's northwest. And there is a severe thunderstorm warning in place for these areas in orange. There is the potential for heavy rainfall leading to flash flooding with slow moving storms. Daytime temperatures were hit and miss across the state. Bendigo only reached 21 degrees which is five below average while Hamilton's top of 28 is four above. For tonight the heaviest falls are expected to continue in that area southeast of Melbourne. The higher range totals are likely to be around 20 to 30 millimetres. Otherwise there could be some quick bursts of rain and rumbles of thunder affecting most districts. Tomorrow, storms and showers will become less likely during the day. They'll contract to Gippsland in the afternoon, but we could see the next round kicking off around the South Australian border later in the day. Scattered showers and isolated storms will extend across from the west on Thursday. That system will bring in cooler southerly winds, so maximums will take a hit on Friday. Tomorrow, isolated showers and storms will be most likely across western districts as well as inland Gippsland during the afternoon. Falls will only be light, less than a millimetre for most. We are in for another stuffy night. Minimums will generally be in the mid-teens again. Then a partly cloudy day. Most places will reach between 24 and 28. Mildura should be our warmer spot, heading for 30 degrees. Here in Melbourne, there'll be a few showers about tonight. The storms are heading away from the city, but there could still be a thundery shower or two. And lingering showers tomorrow will clear in the afternoon. Just a millimetre or two is expected for most suburbs. Temperature-wise, minimums of 16, 17 and 18 of forecast before peaking in the mid-20s. The city should reach 25 degrees from a low of 19. And it's looking good for footy fans planning to head to the G tomorrow night. It should still be around 23 degrees at 9pm before eventually dipping to 19. Showers on Thursday up to 3 millimetres and 29 degrees. A cooler day Friday, top of 22. And the weekend is looking great. A pair of partly cloudy 26 degree days jumping up to 31 on Monday and 29 degrees next Tuesday with possible showers. We are in for another humid one tomorrow. The city will dip to 19 degrees overnight before warming up to 25, so there is a bit of everything this week, Pete. <laughs> yes, yeah, sounds like it. Thank you, Maddie. And Melbourne, that's what's news this Tuesday. Tracy's next with The Current Affair. Enjoy your evening and good night.